Hey, we are uh, introducing this whole week um, the idea of this little book, The Common Rule, um, a trellis and like a vine or a plant that utilizes the trellis to get up off the ground and to grow and be healthy and to flourish. That's what a common rule is or a rule of life, which is kind of the more typical term for it literally throughout centuries, uh, literally for uh, 1,500 years, uh, the idea of a rule of life has been referred to as a set of practices that serve as a pattern for us to follow in order to direct and train our lives to be more like the life of Christ. So we're inviting you to do that. So please share share this video, share other videos, pick up the book, start reading. It's a companion study. Uh, we won't get into the specifics of the book for a week or two. Um, but you can start reading it and you can start practicing any number of the wonderful suggested daily habits or practices or weekly practices or habits. And then as we kind of move along, we're going to refine that. We're going to make it really fit you well and, and help you to recognize, wow, this is going to really help me to be someone that just does better in life. It gets my life up off the ground. It helps me be healthy, trains my, my mind and my thoughts in a certain direction. So we've been looking at the life of Jesus this week, um, and right out of the gate, Jesus models for us in his baptism. He modeled for us coming under the Father's love. And the Father said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Jesus came under the influence of the Father's love. And you and I have to do that. When we develop these new daily habits, a rhythm of staying in step with God, that's how you come under the influence of the Father's love. Why? You're reaffirming truth. When Jesus said um, to his disciples, if you hold my teaching, you really are my disciples, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's in John chapter 8, verse 34. He was saying that until you learn to put these things into practice, until you learn to hold on to them in, the, in your daily rhythm, you, you're not going to experience the freedom that I that I have offered you. So as we learn these new daily rhythms, we come under the Father's love. The second thing that we talked about this week that Jesus modeled for us was ha happened right immediately after his after his baptism. The baptism recorded in Matthew chapter 3, as soon as he's done, chapter 4 starts and it says, and then the Spirit of God led Jesus into the desert to be tempted. It's like, thank you very much. Thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> what's, what's crazy about that is that we look at that experience and we know if you've read the passage, um, you or if you heard me speak on it this weekend, that Jesus spends 40 days fasting. It's like, holy cow, we can't even imagine fasting like that. We thought, oh my gosh, he was so vulnerable. The deal was he wasn't vulnerable. He wasn't so vulnerable. He had been fine-tuning his connection to the Father. He had been learning to live completely dependent on the Father. And so when he was tempted, Jesus was at his best, not at his worst. But that spirit leading him led him through those temptations. And I said this week that, you know, when, when Satan came and tempted Jesus, he was aiming to, to question the identity that Jesus had in his Father. He said, if you really are the Son of God, then turn these stones to bread. If you really are the Son of God, what was he doing? He was challenging Jesus at his very identity. And when you and I are tempted, Satan does the same. He challenges us at our sense of being, who we are. It doesn't make any difference if you're being tempted relationally or tempted financially or being tempted sexually. It makes no difference what the temptation is. Satan wants to, he wants to take the, your feet out from under you. He wants to take your sense of purpose and your value as a child of God out from under you. But who are you in order to let us, empower us to rationalize why we can compromise who God's calling us to be? Jesus not only modeled for us how to live under the Father's love, but he modeled for us how to live under the influence, the leading of the Spirit. When we begin to practice a daily set of habits, it's going to empower us to be able to live under the leading of the Spirit. And the Spirit will not just lead you past temptation, but through that temptation, 
on the other side. And in doing so, he will not only bring you out, he will refine who you are, your true identity. Lord Jesus, as we begin to practice a daily rhythm of connecting with you, give us a sense of your presence and that there is always a way of escape. There's always a way out from under temptation when we are under your influence. I'll see you tomorrow.